Gotta smell nice. I ain't been to church since mama made me go as a kid. Daddy, I ain't never really seen you get dressed up before. Yeah, baby, you know I gotta look good on my first day. I don't want them to get the wrong impression. It's just something about seeing a hood dude in a suit. It's getting to me right now, too. Is it hot in here? Yeah, 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 yeah. No, it ain't hot in here. It's real horny in here, though. I look good, don't it? You do, Daddy. Here, let me help you with your bow tie. Ooh, wait a minute. You smell good, too? What's that you wearing, Daddy? I made this myself. It's something I like to call Centix. Ooh, it smells so good. I don't think I've ever smelled anything this good before. I know, right? I'm pretty proud of this one. I made it when I was a kid. I even made a Centix.com website for it and everything. Nobody want to buy it, though. What? It smells so good. You know, my fans don't really got money to support me like these other YouTubers. They be having big ass chains and shit. Look at my chain. It's fake as hell. That show how much they love me. I think they broke or something. I don't know. I'm just glad they watch my videos. But have you even ever told them about it? Maybe they would support you. <sighs> Maybe. I don't know. We'll see. I'll put the link in the description. Anyway, stop, woman. You distracting me. I'm about to go to church. But you look so good. And you smell good, too. You got the nerve. I need you. I want you so bad. Let's do a doggy style in the mirror right now. <clears throat> uh, say, say what now? I want us to watch each other as you fill me up, Daddy. It'll be quick. I promise. Well, uh, you know what? I guess a little quicker before church shouldn't hurt. It should keep me focused, right? Oh, yeah. I get you real focused. Now get over here. <laughs> And he was struck down by an act of Poseidon. The judgment for a ministering angel was living in a sanctuary. Ye must know that all things must pass. All things must pass, said he. Ooh, sorry, I'm late. I just had a life-changing experience. Who'd have known mirror sex is the best sex ever? It's like watching porn and making it at the same time. It's kind of like VR, but it's like... Brother Weezy, Brother Weezy. Oh, hey, I ain't get the dress code information. Y'all robes, y'all rocking hard as fuck. what I miss? You missed a lot, sir, but it's about to get to the most important part. Pay attention. Okay, okay. And everyone here who wants eternal life must live in the ways of Poseidon, or else you will go straight to Earth. Does anyone want to go to Earth? No! Wait a minute. I thought people go to hell. You know, where it's fire and shit is. No, my brother. You got it all wrong. Haven't you seen Avatar The Last Airbender? Look at this chart. You see, humans are on Earth, so they're scared of hell, which is fire. If you apply the same logic to us, then it makes sense. We're in the water, so we're scared of Earth. Oh, that make a lot of sense now. And don't forget my fellow fishermen, I H2O, 19 states. He who lives by Poseidon gets to have 15 wives, huh? Yes! Yeah! yeah. And what do these 15 wives have to do? Obey our biddings! Yeah, obey our biddings. Mm -hmm. Or else what will happen to these 15 wives? They, they will be, be beheaded. beheaded! Yeah, off with their head! Off with their heads indeed, my new brother. The wives must listen to us. Hey, new young man. Stand up and introduce yourself to the brotherhood. Uh, okay. What's up, y'all? Gang, 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 I see y'all fresh as hell. Look at my nigga right there. But what's wrong with your head? Is that, is that like a, is that a disease? Oh, uh, my name Tut. Hi, Hi Tut. Tut. One of my favorite things to do is make uh, peanut butter jelly sandwiches. And I make my own cologne too. Y'all should try some. Oh, we will, my brother. We will. Now, are you ready to make the everlasting oath to our Lord Poseidon and join our brotherhood in command 15 Y? Hell yeah, I'm ready to do that. I'm born ready. I've been ready for this my whole life. Okay, my brother. Okay. All right. Look, look. Now, once you start reciting this oath, you cannot stop. Or else you will be stoned to death by flaming rocks as a traitor. Goddamn, stoned to death? Okay, I got it. All right. Uh, What I got to say? Everyone, close your eyes. Close your eyes. There's three lines of the oath. Now, repeat after me, my brother. Okay. Ah! State your name. Swear by Almighty Poseidon that I will live a fruitful life. Ah! State your name. Swear that by Almighty Poseidon that I will live a fruitful life. I will raise our sons and daughters by his teachings, and I will never kill anyone. I will raise our sons and daughters by his teachings, and I will never kill anyone. And I promise, I promise to be celibate and never have any sex for the next 10 years, or I'll allow all my brothers to strangle me to death. And I promise, I promise to be celibate and never have sick sex for the next 10. 
Hold on. Hey, what? Ten years? That's a long ass time, sir. Oh, damn. Uh, no sex for ten years, or y'all niggas can choke me to death, or something like that. Congrats, brother. You are now an official part of our brotherhood. Now, I will have Brother Angelo make sure you are following the correct path. Congratulations, my brother. I'm so excited to have you a part of our society. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, where my 15 wives at? Patience, my brother. You'll have to wait at least 15 years before you earn your first wife. What, 15 years? Fine. Earn my first... Hey, fish don't live past 30 years, typically, according to Google search I just did. Why ain't you tell me about this? You lied to me. It's okay, my brother. I believe in you. You will be handsomely rewarded spiritually for this. I promise you. But, you answer this quick question I have. Alright, what's that? Can I purchase some of your cologne? You smell amazing. I think this will make a really good holiday gift. Yeah, I need to give me some of that too. Is there a website or something? Yeah, it actually is. There's a link in the description. Hey, baby, I'm home. Hey, Daddy. You were out late. Had a good afternoon? Yeah, uh, I think I almost died, but I guess it turned out to be alright. I'm alive, ain't it? Ah, uh, were you scared? Need me to make you feel better? I was just thinking about early today and how magical that was. Let's surfboard in the tub, baby. Ooh, you want surfboard in the... I can't do that. Mm, I ain't gonna lie, I can't do that. <laughs> Why not? I'm, uh... Mm, yeah, I'm tired. Yeah. I'm tired. Yeah. I'm tired. Well, it's okay. I can do all the work. You deserve it. I got this new trick I want to try on you, too. I saw it on OnlyFans. Look, let me show you. Oh, well, that, that's a nice trick there. All right, fuck it. I guess it can't hurt to try. Let me get into it, too. We finna serve, boy. Serve, boy. I love human music. Remember your oath, my brother. Do you remember the oath? Tut, the oath. We will all choke you, Tut. Uh, I mean, uh, shit, baby. It's okay. I'm gonna just go to bed. When my body gets sleepy, I gotta listen to it. Maybe another day or week or month or maybe in 10 years. <laughs> Darius Tawala, you get back in here and make sweet love to me. I need you, daddy. Tony, guess what? Are you gardening my n uh, Yes, I am gardening. It relaxes me. I know, you clowning me on the inside. I don't care. What you want, Kmo? Uh, Marlon just built this thing. You gotta come see it. It's so cool. <laughs> you know what? I don't think I will do that. What you mean, though? Come on, you gotta see it. I mean, no, I don't want to see whatever the hell Marlon built. Every time we get together, some crazy stuff always happen. And today, I don't feel like getting myself involved in no trouble. So, no. I'd rather stay here and water my garden. We are underwater. You don't need to. Anyways, come on, Tut. I promise you will not regret it. Last time I heard that, I regretted it. But you know what? Life is about taking chances. Whatever. I'll go. Just take a little quick look, all right? And I'm going to leave right after. Is that fine? Yes, silly. <laughs> come on. <sighs> all right, now. What's this cool, super cool thing y'all want to show me? Look right here. Wow. A shoe. So cool. I'm going home. Wait, wait, wait. It's it's not just a shoe. It's a rocket ship. Oh, 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 oh my god. How the hell did you do that? Marlon one of them smart niggas. <laughs> Don't give that nigga all the credit. I built that shit, my nigga. So, Marlock is our comrade now. Of course he is. <laughs> Why wouldn't he be? Me and Marlock have been taking couples therapy. We worked out a lot of issues. Hey, tweaking. This is only temporary. Until I figure out a way to detach from this nigga again. Y'all need more counseling. <laughs> Great. So I saw the huge ass rocket ship shoe thing, and I'm going home now. What, Tut? You ain't wanna go inside and go check it out? Uh, for what? For what reason would I wanna go inside a shoe spaceship? Don't be scared, Tut. This ship is 100% safe. I made sure of it. Uh-huh, that sounds really great, Marlon. It really does. But I ain't trying to kick it in the shoe ship. I just had this whole talk with K-Mort. I don't want to get involved with whatever situation y'all get yourselves into. I would much rather go back to my gardening. Gardening? Yes, gardening. It's a relieving hobby. Come on, Tut. Marlon went through the trouble of building it. The least you could do is go look at it. Then we'll let you go back to your little gardening while we go on an adventure. <laughs> uh... 
Fine, let's go. Wow, I ought to believe this was from a shoe. Marlock's been improving on his work. Did you know he graduated top of his class at MIT? Shut up, Dick, don't compliment me. That's weird. Now, Marlock, what did Dr. Jackson say? You have to start accepting my compliments and returning the favor. I'm not complimenting you. Suck my thin dick from the back, my nigga. Oh my god, Marlock. Come on now. Show some respect to Marlock. He really admires you. Uh. What the hell is going on here, man? Y'all are bullshitting. Shut up, boss, man. Me and K-Moore are the sponsors. That's really kind of weird that you two would carry on that road. Uh, Y'all obviously got some weird things going on here. Fine. Damn. Marlon, you smell nice today. Thank you, Marlock. It's Dove's female soap spring collection. Okay, great. I seen the spaceship and some weird relationship breakthrough. I'm gonna go back home now. That's all right with y'all. Wait, Tut! You ain't even seen the best part yet. Watch this. Wait, 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 wait. No, no, no! Look! Milkshake, Tut! Marlon installed a milkshake machine. <laughs> He's a genius. Oh, oh, I thought it was gonna send us into space or something. That's pretty cool. What else? What else in here? We also installed extra HD surround sound. Music has never been clear. Play with an ass like Patty Kite. Don't get no damn. Damn! This is my favorite song. <laughs> no, turn it off. I wasn't featured in that one. I'd be damned if I played another nigga shit on my channel. Hating ass nigga. That's not all. Look to it. Watch this. Uh, K-more. What you doing? I'm trying to show Tuck the TV. I just pressed the wrong one. Hold on! Oh, well, uh, I think you should probably stop pressing stuff right now, K-Boy. Hold on! I can, uh, I can fix this! Yo, what the? What's this? Ah, please! Stop! Somebody save me! Oh boy, I guess we're all going on a little trip in my favorite rocket ship. <laughs> did y'all see what I just did there? <laughs> I told you not to invite this nigga. No, no, move, k -more. Bring us back down. Bring us back down. Marlin, how we stop it? Oh, well, hmm. I don't think you can stop it once it starts flying. Guess we'll have to wait till we get to our destination. Uh, which is where? The moon! Oh, damn. Go out there, Tut. I ain't going out there. No need to worry, Tut. I'll go out there first. Ain't no water out there, Marlon. You would die. Don't be stupid. I, of course, made precautions. I invented these water tank suits. Wait, wait, wait. I thought my clone invented that. They stole it from me. Oh, my God. I've never been to the moon before. <laughs> so dope. Hey, Mo, I don't think none of us have been to the moon. Shut up. Yeah, crazy ass boy. Wait a minute. This is actually kind of cool. I might then waste my time with this. I told you you was going to like it. <laughs> Marlon the genius. Ain't that right, Marlin? Oh, yeah. I've been actually reading a lot of books lately. Books help. Shut the fuck up! This has been the plan the whole time. We've been working on this shit for years, nigga. Years! Ah, 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 ah. ah fuck. Too stupid. Who's next? Ah. Hey, what the hell? Ah. What the fuck? Ah, fuck. He's too high. Ah. <laughs> yeah, the perfect balance. Not too dumb, not too smart, and a little high. Oh my god! I didn't know Tuck could fly! He ain't flying, you idiot! He jumped! You know what's funny about this? He. Marlock did mention something a while back that he was from the moon. I'm from the moon, nigga! <laughs> Shut up, Marlock. Finish your food. Are you kidding me? That means you've always known about this? Well, no. I mean,. He never really explained himself, he kind of would just mention it, and I would kind of just continue on to my day. Like, shut up, Marlock. That's that's ridiculous. You're not from the moon, and you're not planning on jumping hosts and continuing a master plan to do other things. That's, that's, that's ridiculous. Oh, man, we dead, man. Crap. Shit. Okay. Well, well, we're not dead yet. We, we might be dead soon. Everyone dies if we're gonna talk, like, realistically, technically, everyone will die. Marlon, shut up! You know what? Forget Tut. We can just go ahead and leave. Marlon, it's your damn ship. You know how to work it, right? Well, there is where we have a little bit of a wrench in the plan. I don't. What the hell you mean you don't? Damn! What you mean, Marlon? See, the thing is, I helped build a ship that gets you to the moon. It's a whole another thing building a ship that goes back to Earth. Yeah.
But we have each other. Oh my damn god. We don't. Oh no, we don't. I left the books back at the house. I mean, Marlock really read most of the books. I don't know how to do this. It's kind of Marlock's thing. So we can just do that. We have to get Marlock. I'm so sorry, guys. Oh, damn! That was a far ass jump, nigga. Wait, what you doing over here? What you digging up? Moonrock, my nigga. It contains an element that can use to destroy the earth, my nigga. Oh, no. Wait, why would you do that? Why would you destroy the earth? Because I'm fucking crazy. Who the fuck do you think I am? When the fuck did you ever think I was sane, my nigga? I'm fucking loose. I'm fucking wild. I got shit going on my fucking head. I got problems, my nigga. I'm off the medication, my nigga. This shit is about to be jumping, my nigga. I'm fucking Marlock. This is what the fuck I do, my nigga. Uh, okay. You know what? You're right. This is what you do. Maybe I should accept that the earth is going to be gone. You know, everything that I love and have anything to do with is there. Wait, including my baby mama. You know what? Go ahead. Yeah, destroy the earth. Fuck it. Let's go, Marlock. Let's do this thing. Man, we've been walking for like 10 minutes. I'm tired. Nobody ever told me the moon would be this hard to walk on. Are you? Yeah, Marlon. Where the hell are we even going? Do you know? Honestly, I've never been to the moon before, so no. Uh, I mean, it gotta be something that Marlock said to you. I mean, damn, did he mention anything? Come on, help us out. Well, he did mention something about a laser being buried in the moon that he's gonna use to destroy the Earth. What? Do you know where it's at? Of course. But why the hell you ain't never mentioned that, Marlon? Well, you never asked. Oh my God, this dude's crazy. Come on, man. Oh yeah, uh, so Marlock, uh, Mr. Marlock, sir, I was thinking, if you destroy the earth, that mean all of my holes gonna go with it, and yeah, that ain't gonna work unless you got holes here, like, you like holes? I don't got a fish tip, my nigga. Okay, so what is it, is, is it just, you a woman? I'm a they. Okay, I have nothing else to say after that, I love you regardless. My master plan is complete. Soon, the earth will be destroyed because of me for no fucking reason at all. Because I do this shit every day, my nigga, for my name is Marlock. Marlon, do you know how to destroy this machine? No, but there is a self-destruct button right here. Oh my gosh, press it, Marlon. <laughs> okay. Nigga, I don't think it was a really good idea to have a self-destruct button on your, your your Trump card. I'm gonna ask you why you put a self-destruct button on your shit. Somebody gonna press it and it's gonna... Never mind. Okay, Marlock, fun time is over. We have to leave the moon and go watch my soap operas. I'm gonna be late. Fuck your soap operas, nigga! We already know what the fuck happens. Stacy hooks up with Ben. Ben has a baby with Jill. And then Jill has a baby with Steve. What the fuck do we gotta keep watching that bullshit for? We know what the fuck happens. And that shit's just gonna make me cry all over the fucking head. Okay, well if we don't go home, I'm gonna tell everybody your deepest, darkest secret. You wouldn't. <laughs> oh, I would. Because, because I, I would. I would. Hey everybody, did you know that- SHUT THE FUCK UP! Fine. Uh, <laughs> that, that hurt so bad. But slightly pleasing. You know, like that shit you take that you've been holding in for the whole day. Body had about four days anyway. Wait, what? <laughs> Wow, everything is just so beautiful. I have never seen anything like this in my life. I mean, wow, look at these jellyfish. Yeah, I come here all the time. See, this is the type of stuff you can have if you get with somebody like me. Who else you know could take you to a place like this? Well, my ex took me to Tokyo, which was oddly similar, but anyway, I can see you have nice taste. Yeah, of course I do. That ain't the only thing that tastes good about me, you know what I'm saying. Oh, really? Ew, mommy, I think the homeless man just farted. <laughs> it was a loud one, too. <laughs> you little mother...
Why do we even bring this? Wait, what the? Ew, and it stink too. Oh man, um, that actually smells terrible. Sir, are you okay? I mean, do you need to find a public restroom? But that wasn't me. It had to be you, stupid head. Mommy, I don't like this man. He stinks and he a liar. Oh, DJ, look, maybe he is lying for a reason, you know? Like, maybe he's embarrassed. Sir, look, it's okay. We will keep your little smelly secret. <laughs> look, I am a good smelling fish. I actually pride myself on how I smell. I even made my own cologne. It is clearly your evil demon child. <laughs> Mommy, he called me a demon child. Oh no, baby, come here, come here. I'm so sorry. Don't, no, 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 DJ, don't cry, don't cry. You, how dare you call my son these awful names? But he is literally evil. And you made him cry. I am sorry, mister, but that is strike one. You do not want to know what happens when we get the strike two. Man, this is some bullshit. Uh -uh. Apologize to him right now. Hell nah, that little kid got me fucked up. We're about to hit strike two in five, four, three, two. Okay, 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 okay. My bad, DJ, I guess. I ain't mean it or something, whatever. There you go. Now, I'll leave you two alone to make up. I'm gonna head back to the car, get some supplies for the picnic that we're gonna have. You two behave, okay? Yes, yes ma'am. Look, you little munchkin. I'm smashing your mama tonight no matter what. You ain't smashing nothing but a world record for the corniest dude who ever tried to talk to a woman, punk. Yeah, uh-huh. We're gonna see about that tonight. I got her eating out the palm of my hands. You don't even have hands, stupid. And I bet that even though I'm six, my wee-wee way bigger than your wee-wee. <laughs> well, your mama gonna decide tonight who wee-wee is big. Wait a minute. That don't sound right. Just know your mama gonna be taking this fish fin. Ooh, you gonna stop talking about my mama like that, you little shrimp? You don't want these hands. Let's go then, playboy. I've been wanting to do this all day. Oh, yeah? Well, duh! Shit. Round two, bitch. Ha! Oh, I got your ass. Uh, hey, uh, uh, yeah, get back. Like uh, uh, yeah, yeah, you don't like that, do you? It's huh? all huh? Well, well, well. It would seem as though we are evenly matched. <sighs> yeah, I guess it would seem that way, huh? Ha! Things aren't always what they seem. Look beneath you. You just fell into my quicksand trap, stupid head. Quicksand what? Oh, shit. Mm-hmm. The sand will suddenly swallow you up in about five seconds. Oh shit, you got me. You damn right I did. Didn't I tell you? Any second now. Or did you get me? What, what do you mean? Yeah! What the, how did you do that? My baby Shandy taught me that one. She a master at the handcuffs. Your baby shit? So you have a whole ass girl and you're still trying to talk to my mama? And don't worry about none of that. This grown folk business. You finna die soon anyway. Ah, yep, longest sword I could possibly find. Any last words? <laughs> what? What's so funny? You fell into another one of my traps, dum dum. Ain't no way. I checked all the surroundings, and there's no way you can get out of these cuffs. And this sword is on your throat. Precisely. I can't get out, and it looks like you're going to kill me. I mean, yeah. How is that an advantage? Mm -hmm. All it takes is one more moment. It should happen right about... <laughs> what? Okay, boys. I'm back for the picnic. I made some fried wings and a couple of... Oh, my God. Hook, line, and sinker. Oh, shit. Mommy, help. The homeless man is trying to sell me on the black market after he has his way on me. Ah! Come on now, really? You take your hands off of my boy. Ah, 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 my eyes. It burns. Ah. Baby, are you okay? <laughs> yes, Mommy. I'm fine. But I think I might need to go to a therapist. The man has me scarred emotionally. 
Please keep me away from him. Okay, baby. Mm -mm. I will do whatever you ask. I am so sorry for not listening to you. Let's get out of here, okay? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Sucker. Ah, I can't see nothing. My eyes are bleeding. <laughs> Somebody help me. <laughs> I just want to smash. <laughs> ah. Four more hours till we off. Man, this day been long as Facts. I feel like I pulled a 16 hour shift already. I ain't even do nothing. You think it's a chance you can cover for me for the rest of the day, boss man? I don't feel like doing this no more. Sketch dog is tired. Man, I was gonna ask you if you can do the same thing for me. You ain't about to have me here all day alone. Hey, Tut Sketchy, I got a big order for you guys. I'm currently meal prepping right now, so I gotta get my week ready. So if you could help me with that, that'd be great, and I appreciate it very much. This is fast food, stupid. You don't meal prep fast food. Why not? Because meal prepping is supposed to help you diet and eat healthy. Well, what if I want to diet and eat healthy? You ever thought of that? What if I want to eat junk food and fast food together, like put them both in a blender and just eat it as one big, gigantic, unhealthy food? Hmm? You ever thought of that? You know what? Whatever. I'm on break anyway. Just leave me alone. What? No, I need my food right now. I'm on break too, and I ain't cooking you shit. You better get your ass down to the chum bucket. The chum bucket? Who the hell eats at the- You know what? Either you make my burger for me, Sketchy, or I'm gonna tell Mr. Krabs on your ass. Mr. Krabs can kiss my ass. Alright, alright. What if I pay y'all extra money? Do y'all happen to accept fish coin? Fish coin? What's that? I heard about that, I think. My plug be trying to upgrade us to be using that instead of cash. I don't trust it. It's basically digital money, bro. You can, like, use it to, like, spend on stuff, or you can even invest in it. Like, I know some people who became millionaires off of this already. You said some people you know became a millionaire? Yeah, you hear me when I said the word millionaire, huh? Anyways, uh, yeah, so if you can make me those patties, I will give you all the fish coin I currently own. Right now, they're about four cents each. But honestly, I think over time, it's going to grow to like thousands, maybe even millions per fish coin. I don't know. I don't trust it. All right, all right. Look, look at my phone, Tut. See all this fish coin? That's a lot of fish coin, Tut. You ever heard the term men lie, women lie, numbers don't? This a lot of numbers, bro, and it, it ain't lying to you. Honestly, me saying it out loud kind of sounds stupid. Why would I spend all this investment in just some Krabby Patties? But you know what? The Krabby Patties are just worth it. I just really want a couple double seaweed deluxes. Ah! <laughs> Death. I hope this is the only time I'll die. I told your dumb ass I wasn't making no patties. God damn, Sketchy was all that called for. Hey, I'm not in the mood today, boss man. He deserved it. But I was really interested in his fish corn. Well, just steal it. Steal it? You can do that? Yeah, just take his phone. Then all the fish corn is yours, dumbass. <laughs> oh, well, I guess he won't need it since he'll be dead and will never come back to life. Okay, cool. Uh, let me see. Hmm. I don't understand it. It says this phone has 25,000 fish corn on it. So it's only worth a hundred dollars? This is worthless. Mm. Damn, this phone is really indestructible. I'll be an Android. Well, look at the bright side. You got a new Android phone. And I sketchy don't have to work. It's a win-win, boss man. I guess. Well, let's just leave work today. We part-time anyway. I'm sure ain't nobody else gonna wanna eat when they see this dead body. Sounds good to me. Let's go to your house and smoke on some of this ooh pack I got from the plug. <laughs> So Sponge, why you like jellyfishing so much? I never really understood it. Jellyfishing is just better than sex to me. You know, back when I had a full-time job at the Krusty Krab, I used to do this to relieve stress from Patrick. Oh, damn. That's crazy. Now I am broke. I knew I should have invested in fish coin way back when my show was running. Fish coin? Why does that sound so familiar? These hoes been getting rich out of fish coin. Wait, I think I still got that phone with the fish coin on it. I think that's what it was called. Yesterday, just one fish coin was worth $60,000. If you had that much money lying around, then you probably wouldn't be friends with a broke boy like me. Shut up, shut up, shut the fuck up, shut the fuck up, shut the fuck up. $60,000, you serious? That's what I'm saying. I should have bought it. There is this one bluefish that tried to sell it to me 11 years ago, but I didn't listen to him. As soon as I changed my mind, they found his body at the Krusty Krab. Can you believe that? Man, that's crazy, but, uh, look, SpongeBob, I gotta go back home. I know I was supposed to hang with you and everything, but... I got dip. No worries, dude. He calls my man. All right, see you later. Hey, Sketch, you remember that phone we had with all the fish coin on it from 11 years ago? 11 years ago? Nigga, I don't even remember what I was doing 11 minutes ago. Come on, Sketch, you think? I need your expertise right now. 
Where you at? I'm driving to your house right now with the phone. You can't just be popping up on me, boss man. You know the feds watching my house all day, every day nowadays. I don't want them to know any of my movements. Okay, well listen. You accept fish corn when people buy grams from you, right? What? Nigga, I just told you I don't want the feds watching me. Why would you say something like that on the damn phone? My bad. But, uh, can you verify that drug dealers use fish corn, right? Yeah. Matter of fact, there was this one blue fish that bought some from the other day from me. I mean, uh, uh, from somebody that I heard about. And how much does a gram cost in fish coin? About 0 0.0003 FTC if we go at current weed market rates. So, if I had 2,500 FTC, how much weed could I buy? Um, roughly 7.5 million grams of Cali OG. That's a lot of weed, my boy. Right. Now, convert that into dollars, and that's how much money I have on me right now. That would be roughly an $150 million in cash. Hold on! A hundred fifty million dollars in cash on you right now! That what I'm saying! That's all from the dude you killed back in the Krusty Krab! Wait, which dude? I never forget a nigga that I didn't kill before. The blue one, nigga, with the phone. Oh yeah! I remember that dude. He was trying to make me do something I ain't feel like doing. Or something. Right. Anyway, I don't know how to use this money. Well, look no further, my man. <laughs> Sketchy is here to save the day. Meet me at the spot tonight at 10. I'm gonna make sure we straight. Okay, cool. Alright, boss man. Me and my nigga that's the fish coin expert. I don't know his real name, but we just call him Animator. Hey, what's going on? Oh, I think we met before, right? I don't know. I can't remember. But hey, uh, how do I get this money off this phone? Alright, let me see. Let me see what you're working with here. Oh, that's a lot of fish coin. Oh god! This is worth a lot of money. Nigga, we ain't asked you how much it was. We told you we need the money out of it. Damn, Sketch, it, it ain't all that, all right? This nigga think he about to run off with this money, he messing with the wrong one. All right, so, 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 sorry, I'm, so, I'm sorry, Sketchy. I'm sorry, just calm down. It's just, I was just observing. This is a lot of fucking money in my hands right here. Now what I can do for y'all boys is sell this at a market price and get y'all about, um, hmm, 150 million. <laughs> Do it, nigga, hurry up! However, if you take this money and trade it for a couple hours to manipulate the market, then use an MD5 hack crack to hack into other people's wallets, you can increase the money by 10 times. Nigga, we ain't asked you all of that. Give us the money now. Wait, 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 Sketch. Let's hear him out. He said he can get us more money. Sir, how would you do that? Well, since people are kind of stupid when it comes to fish coin, um... It'll take me about 20 minutes of hacking. I right, do that shit right now then. Yeah, sure, no problem. I'll get right on it. But uh, first we gotta discuss the fees because I'm not doing this for free. Nah, ain't no fees. That's what's gonna happen. I'm gonna get half, then boss man's gonna get half, then you, you, you can get half too. Uh, Sketchy, I don't think it were like that. All right, and done. Wow, yeah, this is a lot easier than I thought it was. I guess people are just easier to hack nowadays. All I had to do was sell a bunch of NFTs with them. Anyways, this account, boys, now has $38 billion. Yes, $38 billion. Damn, nigga, $38 billion? Oh, this death don't make no sense at all. All right, so now that we're done here, and to make sure I get my half, I'm gonna set a wire transfer to my account so that will... Oh, damn, what the, what the hell? That nigga was trying to steal our money. Let's get out of here. I clearly don't know you that well, but all right. Hi, Mr. Breezy. You are now the seventh richest person on the entire planet. What would you contribute your success to? Yeah, my bad. I'm drunk as hell. Um, mine, shit. Hard work, shit, you know, uh, dedication, you know. Yeah, all that other shit needs to be saying. I started off flipping burgers, I stuck with that shit. All them hoes gave up on me. Look at me now. I'm here. Just stick with it, kid. Truly inspiring story, Mr. Weezy. Now, would you like to donate to this fund for poor kids? Hell yeah, no. Nah. I ain't finna pour no kids, none of this juice. Yeah, my juice. I'm rich. Rich people don't give back to the community for some reason. You think they'll give back to us if they had the money? You think the poor people would give me money if I was poor? Mm-mm. Security. Oh, hello, Mr. Tutwiler. <laughs> Fancy party you got going on here. Thanks for inviting me. Oh, no problem, dearest. Thank you for attending. And I bring your little badass kid with you. <laughs> Let me know if I can get you anything. And when I say I, I mean my butler. Don't bother me with any nonsense. I ain't doing nothing. <laughs> 
so funny. You know what, boss man? Things have worked out pretty well for us nowadays. Yeah, it has. And you know what? I'm kind of glad I shot dude a long time ago. You know what? I never thought I'd ever say this, but I'm kind of glad you shot dude that long time ago, too. I love you, boss man. I love me, too. Right there, shut up right now. Your niggas are going to jail. Oh, oh, come on. Clarence, I heard everything you said, boy. Your ass is going to jail. Give me all the fish coin that you got. <laughs> Not all the fish coin that we got. Shit! Man, wait a minute. Wait, wait. And take out them damn shades, boy. Your ass look crazy. Stupid fishes. Boss man. <laughs> I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear nothing you got to say. Boss man, you remember when I said that I'm happy about what happened with us? That we was doing good nowadays? Yes, yes. I lied. I fucking hate you, and I hate that you made me cut that dude's throat a long time ago. Wait, I didn't make you do any of that shit. Yes, you did. You could've just sent the dude off, but you made me slice his throat. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm the mastermind. I don't know about this, Tarweezy. This place don't look safe. You worrying about it, Sponge? They just told me it's safe. Why would we believe him? Listen, it's okay. I got a strap on me just in case. Okay, bet. So how does this work? I'm glad you asked, SpongeBob. So this place is a secret fight club where the winner of these here fights wins some money. I register you in tonight's tournament because of your lack of physical pain. This is true, for I am a sponge. My body consists of raw material. I have no nerves, no organs, not even a brain. I don't know how I'm physically alive. They use my people as utensils to clean dishes in the dry lands. Yeah, 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 whatever you say, Spun. Get ready, your ass next. In this here fight, we got Fabio the Tank Boomer, and in this corner, we got Sponge. What is it, what is his name? What is this kid's name? What is it? Sponge, Sponge something something. Are you sure about this? He's pretty scary. Don't even worry about it, Sponge. You gonna be straight. I got twenty dollars on uh square pants. And you should. He doesn't look like the fighting type. Hey, yeah, yeah, I'm sure. You sound like a vampire. I'm kind of scared, but uh, I, I know what I'm doing. Damn, that man is out. No, no, no. He getting back up. Three hours later. Do it now, Sponge. Now is your chance. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Give me that money, that guap. I don't understand. But, but how? He feels no pain, Mario. Let's go, SpongeBob. I buy you a lap dance and heavenly bodies. Sounds like fun. I hope Candy's big booty ass is working tonight. She is, SpongeBob. She is. <laughs> It gives, it gives me, me great, great pleasure, pleasure to, to introduce, introduce our, our guest, guest speaker, speaker for tonight. For tonight. I, know I know you must have heard a lot, a lot about him. him. He was, he was top, top of his of class, class in Rock, Rock Bottom, Bottom University. University. He, has he has created, created the, very the very first water, water tank, tank suit, suit, which will allow us fish to walk amongst the dry lands. Dr. Darius Tutwiler, ladies and gentlemen. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs> Hello, Hello, my, my fellow, fellow noble lords. Lord. It's, it's a great, great honor, honor to be here. Meanwhile... Hey, you think the Earth flat? What? No! <laughs> Idiot! The Earth is round. How can the Earth be round if the ground is flat and not curved, huh? Because the size of the planet is so large, the ground is wildly spread and making it appear flat. Dumbass. Now that don't make no sense at all. Didn't you go to school, Tut? You know they got the little pictures in the planet in the book, right? Those can be photoshopped. I call Cap, unless I see it for myself. Damn! You dumber than me, and that's saying a lot. <laughs> oh, that must be the pizza. I get it. Pizza? We go to pizza? What's up? Hi! I got some mail here for Dr. Darius Tutwiler. Doctor? Yeah, I think you got the wrong house, man. My name Darius Tutwiler, but I ain't no damn doctor. Very funny, sir. I'm ready to give you your invitation for this year's Nobel Prize Award ceremony. It's been hosted in your honor for your engineering work on this first successful model of the fully functional water tank. Okay, I understood like five words out of all that. Again, you got the wrong house, nigga. Sorry, goodbye. Damn! I guess I have to rip this. 
$5,000 checkup. Oh, well. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on, hold on. You said check for $5,000? Written for me. Yeah, you hear me when I'm talking about the guap. Yes, indeed. <laughs> you know what, man? <sighs> Mailman guy who sound kind of like my friend over there on the couch for some reason. Hey! I will accept that invitation to this award thing. If it mean I get that check. <laughs> Here you go. We'll see you at the ceremony, Mr. Dr. Darius Tutwiler. <laughs> Yeah, man, it's about time I'm being recognized for my hard work. So, yeah, Sketchy, this random nigga who sound like k then gave me a check and an invitation for this ceremony in my honor. I guess things are finally coming in my favor. Uh, I don't know, boss, man. They say if you won the Nobel Prize. They ain't calling you stupid, but uh, you ain't the smartest chicken in the coop. <laughs> you know, you know what I'm saying. You ain't the brightest... Crayon in the box. You know, you ain't the best cereal out the whole pack. Okay, all right, okay, all right, <laughs> all right, I get it. Damn. But I'll have you know, I attended one semester of community college. Yeah, whatever you say, boss, man. That shit just don't sound right to me. This nigga can't even spell no bear prize and get gifted five stacks. Ain't that about bitch. He said I can bring as many people as I want. You ain't came more down the slide. Shit, bet. I'd love to see how this play out. <laughs> it's weird. I ain't never seen you in a suit, Sketch. I know. It's making me uncomfortable. How you doing tonight, Dr. Darius Tutwiler? I'm good. I'm good, fam. <laughs> I know it's crazy. I'm here. It's me. Oh my god, it's Dr. Darius Tutwiler. What's up? What's up, baby? It's me. Wait a minute, boss man. You know these people? Hell yeah, no, I don't know these people. Apparently, they know me, though. <laughs> what's up? What's up? Oh my gosh, you a star. <laughs> I've never been with a celebrity before. Get your hand off me, nigga. Before I get security on your ass. Yeah, be quiet, K Moore. Boss man ain't no celebrity. He just going along for the ride. Excuse me, Dr. Darius Tutwiler. Can you sign my wife's tits? Uh, I definitely can do that, sir. I got you. <laughs> sign it, yeah, yeah, yeah. Put uh, my number at the bottom by a nipple. Hey, I'm finna take the ride with his ass. Watch out! <laughs> hey, boss man. I, I, have, I have, have attention, attention up, up here. here. We, we are, are here, here to honor, to honor a very <laughs> noble, noble man. man. You get it? Because he's, he's winning, winning the Nobel, Nobel Prize. Prize. We, we are, are here, here to honor, honor Dr. Dr. Darius Tutwiler, everyone. everyone. Hey, hey, I think y'all are so kind. Y'all are, are so kind to a nigga. nigga. That's, That's crazy. crazy. Ooh. Ooh. How y'all doing out there? Y'all good? Hey, look at all. Beautiful. Beautiful, except, except for you. You, you, you ugly, ugly as fuck. fuck. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna lie, lie, you ugly as fuck. fuck. But, uh, uh shit. shit. I just, I just I wanna, I wanna thank y'all. I wanna thank, uh, um, I got a list here, actually. actually. I got I something got some prepared. prepared. Hey! <laughs> Tell me how you made your, uh, your, your great invention! <laughs> oh, oh, thank you, thank you. young man. I, I, should I should tell them how, how I made, I made my, my great invention, huh? <laughs> Appreciate you so much. Yeah, I actually talk about that. We love to know the way your brain works, sir. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. I, I, appreciate I appreciate it. it. Uh, Brand new fish who's never been used in the episode, episode before. before. Um, um, I, I, when, when I, I think, think about, about my invention, invention, I like to think about simplicity. You know how when your grandma make you a peanut butter jelly sandwich and she cut the crust off for you. You know how easy it is eating that sandwich? sandwich? Yeah. Yeah. That, that, yeah. yeah. Well, what the fuck he talking about? This nigga talking about peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Oh, yeah. This gonna go crazy. On my camera. Um, um, I, I want to leave, leave y'all with, 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 with a great, great quote. quote. Um, um, when, when you, you, gotta, you use gotta use, gotta the, use bathroom, the bathroom, flush, flush before, before you use, use it. it. So, so everything happens, happens smooth. smooth. Who said that quote? Your mama, nigga. Give me my award. Where is it? Bring it out. Let me see it. This man is an imposter. I know it. Oh, where's this man? Game on, sit your ass down. <laughs> Enjoy the show. Uh, I don't know who you are, sir, but you need to get your ugly ass out of here. You know exactly who I am. You thought you killed me, huh? You thought you got rid of me. <laughs> hey, nigga, where you going? I'm alive now, nigga. I'm gonna go do things you ain't never do. Like go to college, get a degree, make some of myself. <laughs> Better than working at the Gallic Grub or whatever the hell it's called this episode. Ugh. Oh, you ain't about to be better than me. But I'm way stronger than that. You just grazed me. <laughs> 
My off-screen death was never confirmed. Oh, really? Huh? Huh? Well, how about I do something about that, huh? Well, how about you come down here and do something about it then? All right, I'm coming. I'm on the way. Meet me in the middle. No, you meet me in the middle. You meet me. No, you meet me. I'm gonna meet myself. Man, this is entertaining and hella confusing. Hell yeah, I'm confused. Yeah, I don't like this situation. I'm about to pull out my gun. God damn, well, you got a gun? Hell yeah, I keep my strap on me, kids. <laughs> and you call yourself a drug dealer. <laughs> ah! Be still! Now, which one of you is the real Darius Tuck Wilder? Hey, 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 calm down now. Yeah, calm down. Don't do nothing crazy. Look, I am the real Darius Tuck Wilder. No, 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 no. Don't listen to him. I'm the real Darius Tuck Wilder. Look at me. Oh, uh, oh, uh, Sketch, I need your help here. All right, wait, 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 wait a minute. Okay, I'm about to ask a question that only the real boss man will even know. Boss man, where do I hide? My weed stash inside Chris Crab. Oh, that's easy. You had it under the under the grill, right? K more, shoot that nigga. Okay. Ah! The real boss man know I never keep my stash on the inside. I keep it over there across the street at the trash can at the jump bucket. <laughs> I knew it was you, Tut. Glad to see you. Man, y'all are insane. How you get that gun there anyway? Whew. At least I still got my Nobel Peace Prize. Ah, uh, I'm gonna need that off of you, young man. You're not peaceful. Oh. Delinquent. Oh. That's cool. Because I still got this 5000 I'm going to run it up. Yeah, boss, man. We good. <laughs> hey, I'm going to need that off of you, little bro. Oh. <laughs> you got it. I ain't got nothing else to say. Thank you. You're so strong. Damn. <laughs> so you got no Nobel Peace Prize, no 5000 <laughs> Look like you assed out. <laughs> hey, I told him it was going to be like that, k more. <laughs> yeah, 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 whatever. Sketchy, just make sure your ass ain't late to work tomorrow. If you are, your ass fine. You can't find me. You ain't Eugene. Mm-hmm. But I can tell him you keep his stands across the street at Jump Buggy, ain't it? You bitch! Damn, Sketch. You got you on that one. <laughs> well, I'm going to see y'all later. Hey, stop that guy. He shot a doctor. Oh, damn! Oh! Tuck, hold the gun! Man, they ain't holding them. Yonder arrest, nigga. Oh, come on! My bad, Tuck. I thought when I threw you the gun, you was gonna throw it somewhere else. I didn't know you was gonna keep it in your hand. Yeah. Yeah. There's a lot you don't know. Oh, it's cool. You getting let out anyway. <laughs> and the elevator just let up ball some fake cash. You know, like his Grand Theft Auto. We just put in the cheat code. Watch this. <laughs> See? Yeah, that is pretty cool. But I wonder why you ain't in jail, because you just clearly shot him in front of everybody. Animator, in the episode. No, 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 no. We need to do something about this, man. Animator. <laughs> Bye. She Hey, Kawizi, why are we in the hood? And why are we at a gas station? And why are there random fish around? Sponge, we are here because this is the best place for dudes to holler at shawty. But why here? Why don't we go to a park or Starbucks or something? And don't you have a baby mama already? We're not looking for the old type of fish, SpongeBob. We're looking for somebody with some street in them. I do not get it. It's cool. Look, here come one now. Ooh, she cute, SpongeBob. Go ahead, holler at her. No, I'm okay. You know I'm gay, right? I refuse to talk to girls anymore after Sandy broke my heart. Uh, what? Since when you dated Sandy? Forget it. She belongs to the streets. She belongs to the streets. Hmm. Sounds like a good song out there. I don't want her, bro, but I can help you out. I am an excellent wingman. You are? Uh, okay, cool. Let's do it. Okay, so how should I approach her? Okay, so she's probably from the hood, so you gotta say the most disrespectful things possible to her. Do not be nice to her at all. They love rough dudes. Okay, cool. What's up, sexy mama? I was looking at you from over there, trying to see what you have going on over here. Well, hello, sir. Um, nice weather we have in today, right? Forget all that. I really don't care what you have to say. I really just want to lay some pipe on you. Excuse me, boy. You heard me, ho. I don't like to repeat myself. Ugh! Take that, you disrespectful sponge. I'm sorry you had to deal with that, ma'am. It, it's fine. I... I could have handled it. Nah, you shouldn't have to be harassed like that. It's a shame all these dudes in the sea act like this. But I'm different, baby. Let me take you out to lunch. Mm, no, I'm fine. I don't really like the crusty crab like that. 
What makes you think I was going to invite you to the Krusty Krab? And who in this whole city don't like the Krusty Krab? Mm, well, first, because I'm a mind reader. I knew you was going to invite me there because you get an employee discount. And your homie Sketchy was probably going to be at work to give you some free weed that you was going to offer me. What? How could you possibly know all of this? I also know that you sent that sweet little sponge over here to come talk to me for you. He did not deserve to get punched like this, though. Oh, nah, baby, you don't understand. He a sponge. He don't feel pain. Anyway, that don't even matter. How you doing this? How long could you read people's minds? Um, I'm not even sure, to be honest. I started reading people's minds as a kid, and it just never went away. And will you please stop looking at my chest? Oh, shit, damn, my bad. So, uh, I guess my chances of getting with you are like zero now, huh? I mean, pretty much. Unless you still think you can get some free weed and I roll up with you. Shit, bet. Mm, so, like, how does the milk not go bad if it's inside the cow? Like, it's not even cold in there. Damn, you know, that's a good point. But there's something I never really understood either. <laughs> Tomatoes, they fruit, right? Right. So if a tomato is a fruit, ain't ketchup a smoothie? A smoothie? Damn, you right. Ketchup is a smoothie. <laughs> Crazy right. I know, I know. Yeah, it is. Man, you know you cool as hell. <laughs> well, you are not too bad yourself. So, just a question. You know how to read minds, right? Yeah, I figured we established that in the beginning of this episode. So, if you know how to read minds, then... No, I am not about to go to a casino and play poker with your ass. Damn, but why not? <laughs> I don't use my power for bad. I got morals. I only use it for good. Don't play with me. Well, think about it like this. Casinos is gambling, right? Right. And casinos tend to target poor people who are looking for a get-rich-quick scheme, right? Mm, I guess you're right. And the casino be cheating, right? They have better odds than the people that be playing. I did hear that's facts. So, I suppose we take them down. Let's go take all the money from them, and we can stop everybody from gambling there, too. With your help, we can take all the money from the casino so they can't be in business anymore. Hmm, you know what? That don't even sound like a bad idea. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to bet 500 on this one. <laughs> hmm. It seems you have a good hand. Okay, I got three kings and two queens. How we looking? Not good at all. This nigga got all aces. Now, I usually don't do this, but I'm willing to bet all of my chips on this one. <laughs> yes, I'm all in. Nah, I'm good. You can have this hand. Wait, but are you sure? You were so confident earlier. Nah, I fold. And the winner in this hand is Q-Tip. You win 500 kills. Good job. I would have bet all my money on that one. Okay, next hand. Damn, this hand is trash. <laughs> I'm willing to bet all of my money on this one, too. I'm betting one million gills on this one. A million gills? Yes, you heard me right. One million. Oh, wow, one million gills? Folks, this is this week's world record. Well, I ain't trying to bet that much. Hey, 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 hey. That nigga lying. Uh, what you mean? He clearly ain't lying. No, his highest card is a eight. He don't even have a match. He bluffing. Call it. He bluffing? You sure? I'm a hundred percent sure. Bet everything and take all that nigga money. Okay, well, sir, I accept your bet. You, um, wait, you what? Yes, sir. <laughs> there we go. All right, folks, here we have it. This is a real showdown tonight, and I got the best seat in the house. Wait, no, I, I canceled my bet. I can cancel, right? No. Can I lower the bet? No. Can I change the bet? No. Can I be dealt new cards? No. Can I? You can't do nothing, sir. What you can do is show your goddamn cards. But, but no. Yeah, nigga, I won. Give me all that money. But that was from all of my savings from being a counselor. Well, that ain't my problem. Hey, you did it. You won us so much money. Look at all this. Us? This ain't no us money situation happening right here. What you mean? You not splitting this with me? Boy, nah. We donate every dollar of this to St. Jude's Children's Research Hospital in Memphis, Tennessee. Stop playing with me. But why? Because they need it more than us. What are you talking about? Well, that's true. Okay. Hey, fans. Can you please help us in our goal of donating some money to St. Jude's Children Research Hospital? That is correct. The hospital costs $2.8 million every day to function. Every dollar helps. Every cent counts. We got to help the children overcome the disease at no cost. So please consider donating, guys. Even if it's a dollar. Link is in the description. Appreciate y'all.
<laughs> Poseidon is great. He loves me today. Uh, Brother Wheezy? Are thou here? <laughs> no sex niggas would kill me. No sex niggas would kill me. Brother Wheezy, are you all right? Ah, who, who's there? It's me, Angelo. What has happened to you? No sex niggas will kill me. Ah, you're still adjusting to a life of celibacy, I see. Nothing to worry about, brother. It gets easier as time goes on. When does it get easier, Lo? I haven't had sex in months. Brother Wheezy, it's only been two days since you took the celibate oath. Come with me. You must attend tonight's ceremony. Okay, let's go right now. Right now, come on. Lovely. Don't you want to tell your baby mama you're leaving? Nah, she been really hostile since I went celibate. Watch. Hey, Shandy. Babe, I'ma head out with Lo. Ooh, see? Really hostile. And he said, as it is on the dry land, it shall be in the ocean. Now we shall begin tonight's gathering. But first, killing this chicken. Poseidon, we hereby sacrifice this chicken for you. Uh, why would Poseidon want a chicken? Brother Weezy, shh. You must not question religion. Question religion? Blasphemy. Who dares to question the true and almighty Poseidon? <sighs> Look, Brother Wheezy here is still a little bit biased. He means no harm by his stupidity. Nah, because you see, you got me all type of fucked up. How do you know that there is actually a Poseidon? Have any of you seen him? What miracles has he done for you? How else do you explain a talking fish? Uh, e evolution? I don't know. Maybe a group of random niggas, right, direct, and animate our life for entertainment so they can make a profit off us? Enough blaspheming, you sinner. Enough spreading sacrilege in the holy tribe. We must prove to the non-believer by doing the forbidden spell in which we shall summon our Lord Poseidon right here, right now. No, we cannot. It's forbidden. Silence. Start the holy fire. Uh, is, is that a pentagram? What type of cult evil shit y'all out here doing in these woods? What's next? You gonna slice off a thumb or something? No, of course not. Bring out the virgin. We shall sacrifice him. Oh my, sir, are you okay? Mm. Remove the tape from the virgin's mouth. A virgin? I told you I'm not a virgin. Yeah, right. Who are you kidding? Stab the virgin. Now, everyone must recite the coming of the Poseidon prayer. We hereby sacrifice this virgin. We hereby sacrifice this virgin. So that you may appear before us and show the heathen that you are realer than real. So that you may appear before us and show the heathen you are realer than real. Like really, really real. Like really, really real. Ah, you see? See how stupid y'all look? Y'all sacrificed that virgin for no damn reason. There is no Poseidon. Now, I'm gonna go home and have so much sex with all oh, my... Oh shit, he real. Get on your knees, Brother Weezy. You are in the presence of the almighty Poseidon. Who the fuck is that? That is Poseidon. That ain't Poseidon. Why he look like that? He look like he attends Sunday night bingo and wear fuzzy slip-ons outside. Don't be foolish. Looks are deceiving. I'm in fact Poseidon of the oceans. Uh-huh. And why am I having a hard time believing you? Your curiosity is understandable, my son. Allow me to demonstrate. I'm alive. I'm alive! Oh my god, thank Poseidon! Not yet, dear boy! Meow! You couldn't just turn water into wine or just fly? Wait, wait! Ain't you the nigga that had them clones? About the free samples? Oh my Poseidon! Hey, run me that, hey, free, run sample. Me that free sample! Run me that sample! Run me that sample! Hey, uh, run me hey, that run free me sample. That sample, fool! Hey, run me run that, run free, me that sample. free sample! Oh, oh yeah. I, I was just fucking with you. I got bored. We are so very sorry to disturb you, sir. Almighty Poseidon, we have a follower here who, who lacked the beliefs of your teachings. We appreciate your presence, my lord. I'm, I'm a huge fan. One huge fan. Oh, hello. You are my favorite. I have very much planned for you, my child. Really? Will I be rich? No. Will, will, will I be famous? Uh, no. Will I have the most beautifulest wives in the deep sea? No, son. Stop asking me ridiculous questions. I have been summoned to bring back faith to a non-believer. Mr. Darius Tudweiler. I heard you talking shit, son. What's up with it? Uh, I, I meant no disrespect by it, sir. It was just really hard to believe. Now, why does it sound so hard to believe? Because, I mean, where you been at? Why do you allow bad things to happen to good people? Where were you when the snails took over Bikini Bottom? Huh? Niggas died. Shh, shh, shh. Shut up, nigga. The only way for you to understand me is to be me. Be you? Nah, 
kind of ugly and old. I like my youth with good looks. That's not what I meant. You be Poseidon for a day. If it is so easy, decide right from wrong. Help those who need help. Oh, well, shit, let's do it then. All right, let it be. This bitch ass nigga thinks he can be me. I will disappear. We will see how you will do. Uh, wait, what happened? Was that real? I don't feel any different. Am I supposed to? What does God feel like? Brother Weezy, you're flying. Uh, flying? What? I'm flying. I'm God. All hell tut. Y'all might want to hold on to your socks. This is going to be a good episode. <laughs> Stupid tut, going celibate. Who goes celibate when you have all of this? Hmm, I wonder what Sketch is doing. Hey, what's going on, sugar? <sighs> Hi, tut. You looking really sexy, baby. You want to take it to the bedroom? Don't you play with my emotions, tut Wheezy. I'm not in the mood for jokes. Nah, I'm for real, baby. Let's go. Let's do it. Here. Here you go. Let's go, baby. Ooh, flowers. You know I love those. Yeah, I do know you love flowers. Let's go, baby. Okay, daddy. Let's do it. Go on on here, baby. I'm gonna meet you in the bedroom. Oh, wait. <laughs> Let's make a few adjustments, okay? Uh, wider. Mm. Mm-hmm. Plump. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Good. But not thick enough. Thicker. Mm. Now to finish it off. Thicker, <laughs> I say. Tut, hurry up. I'm coming, baby. <laughs> Last night was amazing, Daddy. You ain't never had energy like that before. You say it was almost God-like, huh? Yeah, I know. I'm gonna see you later, baby. Got some garden to do. <laughs> God. I like that word. Hmm. What kind of shit can I get myself into today? I always wanted to. Yeah. Todd. Hey, how's it going? Hey, Marley. Hmm. What's next? Watch where you're walking, bitch boy. A word? Okay. Who the bitch boy now? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you better run. Your holiness, I've been searching for you all morning. Oh, what's up, Lo? Hey, man. Thank you for bringing me into this religion. This is some tight shit. Oh, you're very welcome. No problem at all. That's actually why I'm here. Uh, go on. Well, you see, your holiness, now that you are the new prophet, we encourage you to do the things that you wanted Poseidon to do. What things are you talking about, man? You see, bad things are still happening to good people, and your followers were hoping that you could help change that. Uh, I guess I can spare some time. What do you have in mind? Well, there are sick people in the hospitals you can heal. Okay, let go. You can also feed the homeless, attend everyone's funerals to spread wise words. You can prevent pollution in our waters. All right, Lo. Ugh. I had enough of helping people today. I'm going home. I'm tired. But your holiness, what about the brothers doing 25 to life that were wrongfully convicted? What? Uh, I don't know. I can release them tomorrow or something? They can survive one more night. Hmm. I wonder if I jump from the highest building. Will Brother Wheezy catch me? Let me go try that out. Hey, Daddy. What took you so long to get home? I've been waiting for you. Uh, I can't right now, baby. I'm exhausted. I've been working all day. Come on, Tut. You can't just satisfy me with that best sex of our lives and not give it to me anymore. You're so selfish. You so- Oh, <sighs> damn. I just need a minute to myself. <laughs> Whoa! Hey, oh! It ain't as easy as you thought it was, huh, pussy boy? Where you come from? I am Poseidon, boy. I've only given you 5% of my power. Many more and you would have died. This shit ain't that hard. I helped over a thousand fishes in just one day. And while you did that, a million others died. Man, what in the fuck? Why I thought this was easier? Cause it isn't. Your heart ain't pure enough. I gave you the same role I do and you failed to do the things you wanted me to do. Ah! Wow. He saved me. Just like I, I, knew, I knew he would. Your friend believed in you so much he thought your dumb ass would catch him from falling. Lo, why your dumb ass think I was gonna catch you? Because you're the new prophet. You're the new and improved Poseidon, just like you preached. All right, fuck this. I see your point. Your job is obviously a lot harder than I thought. Take your powers back. Is time frozen? Or am I dead? Did I die? Is this heaven? Oh, that feels nice. You see, Mr. Wheezy, this was all to prove a point. You had no faith in me and slandered my name. All for you to do even worse than me. That is crazy. I see your point. Take your powers back. I am sorry. I, in fact, have a better idea. Lo. My son, my powerful follower, 
I have decided to give you the new air of being the next prophet. Take it away from this pussy ass boy. Oh, oh, I feel wonderful. Go on and spread your love all through the land, my son. I won't disappoint you, Poseidon. I shall live out your name and help those who require it the most. Man, what is even going on? Uh, and that's how Lowe became the king of the oceans. Grandpa, why you bullshitting? There's no way you knew Lowe the Magnificent. Boy, don't make me get up and hit you with this sandal. Uh. I've been out here every morning now for the past two weeks. I can't believe you're making me do this. There you are. It's you. It's always been you. You have the same morning routine. In the morning, you're always late for work, but you still manage to take the trash out. Hey, what's up, boss man? Come on, Sketch. You brought the breakfast blunt? You no, know I did. I call this one Sugar Rush OG. Ah, you and your made-up names for the weed. Uh, bet. I can't find my lighter, though. One second. Hmm. This is odd. When Clarence Butterscotch arrives to smoke with you, you are usually prepared. Normally, you have your lighter on you at all times. What could have happened to you where you don't have your lighter on you? Appreciate you, baby. I forgot we used this last night for that candle wax thing we did. No problem, daddy. Have a good day at work. Ugh, her. Every morning you have to go to her. Every night you have to go to her. I already know that you don't like her. She is not the one for you. Something is off about her. You know this. You can't fully commit to her because you met me. You still visit strip clubs in hope of finding the something that's missing in your life. You are only with her because she is pregnant with your child. But don't worry, my love. I will handle her soon. After she has our baby, I will deal with her. You will never have to worry about her again, and I will raise our son as our own. All right, Sketch, I'm going to holler at you later. I'm out to work. All right, boss man. Wow, that car. Every time I see it, it's so you. I can't wait until we're in it together with our son. Ugh, man, I hate this job. I need to hit the lotto or something. I know, my love. I know you hate this job. I'm so sorry that you're working here. You're miserable, I can tell. You don't deserve this. You deserve to be in the rivers of Paris, eating at a restaurant, enjoying life with me. He dropped something. <gasps> it's his chain. His marvelous fake gold chain. Why did you drop this here? Did you? Drop this here for me? Are you flirting with me? Man, if you get your long face ass out of here. Ah, uh, I love when you get into a roast battle with your customers. Tuck, quit roasting me, bro. You know my self-esteem is very low, man. I just want a sandwich. Why you always always wearing that same hat? I wonder what's under there. It's probably an alien controlling your thoughts. Enough! <laughs> God damn, what'd you just do? Oh, uh, he was taking too long to order and I am very hungry. Yeah, you're right. I don't like his ass anyway. But welcome to the Gallagher. How may I take your order, ma'am? Are you being serious? Do you not remember me? Or are you still flirting with me? Are we role-playing? Maybe I'm supposed to be the customer who is in need of food, and you're supposed to be the employee that will save me. Yes, that's what it is. Uh, ma'am, you just staring at me. You gonna order? Oh, uh, yeah, sorry. Hmm, you look real familiar. Have we met before? Hmm, I don't know what to say. Are we still role-playing? Yes. You wouldn't have given me your precious chain if you weren't flirting with me. No. We haven't met, silly. <laughs> uh, why did it take you so long to answer? It's like you was narrating your answer before you said it to me. Okay, whatever. What do you want, lady? Um, can I have a double seaweed deluxe? Alright, just a sandwich or a combo? I ordered this because I know how special the double seaweed deluxe is to you. I know that it turned into your first song. I've seen your YouTube page. I've blasted this song on Spotify and Apple Music and ran the streams up. Of course I had to order this. For you. Just a sandwich, please. Um, do I have something on my face or... Uh, anyway, your total is 1465 oh, Here you are, love. <laughs> love? Um, uh, you pulled that money out pretty fast. Maybe this chick is staring at me because she feeling your boy. I do have my cologne on today. Freshly chopped. Maybe I should holler. I mean, just look at how she's staring. I would be stupid not to go after this. 
Uh, your order will be ready in about 20 seconds. <laughs> SpongeBob, we got a double seaweed, no combo up. Aye, aye, Captain. I can't hear your ass. Aye, aye, Captain. Oh, who lives? <laughs> oh, okay. Maybe not today, Sponge. Your boy, look. Raspy from smoking that blizzard earlier. No problem, Tut Wheezy. Here you go. Good luck with the lady. Okay. We got one double seaweed deluxe up for... She's still staring at me. She definitely wants your boy. <laughs> Thank you so much. I really, really appreciate your service. Well, shit. Shout out. How else can I be of service to you? <gasps> oh, my God. This is it. This is what I live for. This is the moment. This is our moment. I'm glad that I've tracked you for so long. This role playing is fun. Well, I mean, I could use somebody long term to talk to. Someone I could go to Paris with. Someone uh, with a baby on the way, maybe? Damn, that crazy. Well, look, shouty. Take my number down. Text a nigga later, you know. You just voluntarily gave me your number. I already know it, of course, but you telling me that you're going to give it to me is so nice to hear. So you actually were flirting with me earlier. <gasps> Role playing is so fun. Okay, uh, sounds good. I will text you later, Mr. Tut. And rhyme with what? Uh, what about you? Okay, Mr. Tut. Uh, my name is Efrangelis. That's E F R A N G E L I Z. Hey. But you can call me Efran for short. Okay, I did Efran. I got you. Okay. See you later. Hey, hey, wait! I never actually gave you my number. I oh. Damn, she was cute too. I would have loved to possibly get to know her through texting. You know how when you're texting a new girl and you're just using all type of emojis and gifts and shit? That should be fun as hell. Just a few more minutes until you get off. What should I text you? I've been thinking about this all day. Uh, ha! I got it. Hey, Ted, uh, are you off yet? Wanna go grab dinner? I know he's gonna respond instantly because he should be off in a few seconds. Who the fuck is this? What do you mean who is this? Do you not remember? Maybe you are so stressed out that it's affecting your brain. Yes, that must be it. You need a break. You're tired of working and are tired of your baby's mother. I must save you. I need you to be happy. Uh, 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 what the? Shh. It's okay, my love. We will be together soon. Ah, uh, uh, where am I? Shit, what is this? A glass cage? This is a really weird design choice of imprisonment. Like, why does it feel so cinematic in here? Oh, shit. It's your ass. I remember you. You the one that kidnapped me last time, I think. Hey, bro, let me out of here. Shut up. Hey, yo, boss. He woke up. Okay, he's awake. Perfect. I'll be there shortly. Hello. Hey. I'm a plumber with the city of Bikini Bottom. We are investigating a dangerous water and gas leak in the area. Is the owner of the house here? Water and gas leak? Oh no, I didn't know plumbers worked on gas leaks too. But the owner of the house didn't come back home last night. I don't know where he is. I've been calling and calling. I cannot believe that he picked you over me. What? Uh, nothing. Uh, I was saying, ma'am, that you could be in grave danger if I don't investigate this water and gas leak. This does sound dangerous. Yeah, sure. Of course, you can come inside, I guess. Do you need anything? Yes. I will need a couple of things from you. <laughs> I don't appreciate this, sir. Let me out. Please, I have a son on the way. He need me. Don't kill me. Yeah, got it. The boss will be here shortly. But can you let me out before the boss come, right? You can do that. No. Well, uh, you owe me at least a phone call, right? Oh, uh, I don't know. Yeah, think about it. In jail, they give you a phone call, right? Yeah. I guess so. Right. So if you got me locked in a cage, just like they do in jail, you should at least give me a phone call. You know what? That actually makes sense. Okay, here you go. Thank you. Damn. Uh, now who should I call? Shandy? Yeah, she gonna come get me. Uh, come on, come on, come on, come on, Hello. come on, come on. What the hell? Why she not picking up? She always answer. This is weird. Hmm. Maybe she's asleep. Okay, who else? Uh, oh, I should call Marlon. That crazy nigga can get me out of here. Mm, 
Hey, Marlon. Oh, hi, Todd. How are you doing on such a lovely day? What's going on? I need you to come save me again. Save you again? <laughs> Todd, I've never saved you before, but I can pull out my Bible and convert you to our Lord if you want. No, not you, stupid. Marlon. <laughs> what do you want, nigga? Can you track this phone location? Of course I can track your location. Cool, cool, cool. Give me like three hours. Three hours? Why is it gonna take so long to do that? You live down the street. Nigga, you want me to come save your ass or not? I'm gonna slide through and slice up some kidnappers. All right, bet. I'll see you then. One. Hey, appreciate it, bro. I appreciate you for being fair and, you know, giving me my phone call. No problem, tonto. Hello, my love. Man, who the hell are you? <laughs> That's a good one. Enough with the role playing. Have you been enjoying your vacation so far? Why am I trapped in a cage? This ain't no damn vacation. Sweetie, think of it as time off work and time off your life. There is nothing enjoyable about being trapped in a cage. But I put a brand new PS5 with GTA 6 and the newest NBA 2K and Smash Bros in there with a 90 inch projector TV for you to enjoy. You, uh, you did what? Yes, my love. And I know how much you love peanut butter and jelly, so I gave you an entire pantry of it. That along with a lot of groceries and other miscellaneous household items. Was, was that not enough for you? Damn, that's kind of cool. That's actually cool as hell. How did you know I love peanut butter and jelly so much? Who are you? I know you. I know all about you. But please stop pretending that you don't know my name, love. It, it really hurts me, even though I know you're just pretending. Oh, well, it's cool. Uh, I'm finna play 2K and make a my player. Is it Wi-Fi in here? Yes, it's already hooked up. Bet. Two hours later. <laughs> Come on, you can't beat me. Baby Bowser unbeatable. <laughs> I'm taking you down. Prepare to be three stock. Hey. Ah. <laughs> Damn. Yes, in your face. Yeah, nah, run it back. <laughs> okay, my love. You know, I really enjoy spending this time with you. Yeah, you know, you're not bad yourself. I'm really enjoying myself. Fuck going to work. I can spend the rest of my life in here. Go ahead, lock that cage up. Really? I'm so glad you're having fun. Don't worry, love. It will only get better. That's what's up. Uh, what was your name again? What? What the? The power went out? No way. I have three backup generators. <laughs> oh. No. Oh, what, what? What is going on? You take that. Take that, my love. I'm going to protect you. Take that, bitch. What the? Mm -mm, get off me. Get off me. Ah, uh, uh, where am I? I saved you, nigga. I also took home a trophy. What the hell, Marlock? I was having the time of my life. You should just let me stay in there. You asked me to save you, nigga. Nigga, that was three hours ago. You owe me one now. Plus, I'm gonna need your help real soon. Shit, man. Damn, I was having fun. Uh, what happened to the girl that was in there? I didn't see a girl in there. I may have lost you again, my love. But don't worry. I set up security cameras all in your house. Baby, where were you? I was calling you and you didn't answer. Was you cheating on me? I don't know what happened. I invited the plumber in to fix your problems, and then I think I took a nap or something. Anyways, you didn't come home last night. Were you cheating on me? I'll know your every move. <laughs> I love taking personal days. Ain't nothing like avoiding all your responsibilities and putting your phone on Do Not Disturb in the name of self-care. What? Hey, can a fish get some peace and quiet around here? Man, I wonder what all the ruckus is. Let me see what's disturbing my peace. Silence, silence, silence. I'm aware of how great I am, for my name is Kenny the Magnificent. Show us a trick, Mr. Magic Man. Uh, he ain't no real magician. If he is, I ask him to make my baby mama disappear. Uh, okay, sir. Think of a number from one to ten. Okay, I got it. Hmm. Would your number happen to be seven? Oh my God, how did you know? Thank you, thank you, thank you. Hey man, that's easy. Y'all excited by that whack trick? 
Oh, it seems we have a little grumpy, wumpy, chumpy, little fishy fish fish. Man, what the hell do that even mean? Daddy never took you fishing, huh? Nigga, we are fish. How does that even make sense? Anyways, let's see a real trick. I ain't falling for none of that mumbo jumbo. Hey, y'all. Hat Fanboy wants to see a real trick. Well, that's exactly what Hat Boy is about to get. Yeah, um, okay. Choose a car, my non-believing brother. Oh, my God. A car trick. This is so magical. Now show the car to everyone else. Here y'all go, look at my card. Now place it back into the deck anywhere you please. No, I'm gonna place it into the deck wherever I please. I don't need your permission. Little mustache, yeah, boy. And now... Mm. Hey, man, what the... If you wanna fight, you can just say that. Hey, calm down. It's just a part of a trick. I didn't mean to startle you. Uh, well, don't startle no shit. Won't be no shit. Because I'm gonna finish it. Italian villain mustache ass boy. <laughs> I bet when you think, you twist the end of your mustache, don't it? <laughs> Fred the freaky Frenchman looking there, boy. Well, okay, guys, we got a comedian. Okay, now I'll point to whichever face down card you think is yours. No, lazy nigga. I ain't finna help you find my card. You supposed to do that. I ain't your assistant. Could you just please just point to a card? Brown jelly bean built ass looking ass nigga. Let's pick a card, eh? Wahoo! <laughs> Mario stash head <ad> boy. <laughs> all right, all right, okay, okay. That's enough cooking your ass, I guess. Uh, that card right there. This is the card that he picked. Am I not magnificent? Huh? <laughs> boy, that's your ass. That was not my card. Yeah, I told y'all. He a fraud. A fake. Sacre bleu. A fake fancy Frenchman. <laughs> Wait! Allow me to try once more to find your card. What was it? Wait, ain't that your job? My job is to find your card, and I need to know what it is since I already failed my first attempt. Okay, whatever, I guess. Uh, it was the Queen of Hearts. Ah, yes. The Queen of Hearts. <laughs> Come here. Ah, ah, ah! Nigga, uh, get off me! What, what the fuck? What you doing? You got a knife? Where? Where's this intense music coming from? Hey, just one, hold still for one second. N nigga, nigga, what the? Huzzah! I know. Speechless, huh? Uh, no, I'm about to be lifeless. Soon, I'm losing a lot of blood. You could have made it appear in my pocket or something, man. Oh, shit. You're right. Well, off I go before the police arrive. Fuck 12. Mom, say mom, I'm a Makusa. Oh, man. What the hell? Oh, I just fell asleep watching MTV Cribs again. <laughs> oh, man. That probably ain't his house. Look how surprised he is when he walk in there and show off the room. He like, oh, my God. Oh, I mean, uh, yeah, this is how we live in. <laughs> it's a fraud. Everything fake. The government is taking over. I need to smoke again. Uh, I hope Shandy liked this. I probably should have got the toodles instead of the roses, maybe. Hey, yo, bro. Hey. Oh, hey, hey, what? Oh, what's up? How you doing? Wait up for a second, bro. You're looking pretty fly today. Fly? I know, man. I be trying to tell people. Yeah, bro. You killing it with your fit. You match it from your hat to your shoes, my boy. Where you from? Where I'm from? Man, I grew up in the south around the Mississippi River. Oh, fire, a southern guy. I know you had that country down to earth feel. You don't see that too often around here. I can tell by the way you walk. Hell yeah, man. Uh, anyway, what's up with people here, man? Nobody say hi to each other around here. Bro, we can learn a thing or two from you. You need to run for mayor or something, man. I can tell you got a great mind. Yeah, I think so too. What's this? Go on, Tim. You gay or something? Why you complimenting me so much? <laughs> Bro, you are a comedian too. So nah, I was trying to see if you can do with me a quick favor. I knew it. You wanted something. I knew it. And what is that that you want? So bro, tell me why I know Jay-Z's third cousin. Do you know how crazy that is? I mean, I guess that's only a little crazy. Sounds like a lie. Yeah, bro. And I'm trying to tell you that I'm the next big thing. I got so many eyes on me right now, it's crazy. What, you a singer or something? Singer, rapper, dancer, I do all that. I'm about to have my music everywhere soon. I even got connected to North Korea. This is about to be global. Billions in the bank kind of global. Oh, for real? That sounds promising. Yes, bro. Now this is where you come in. Uh-huh. Bro, you have to understand that what I'm about to ask you will make you a millionaire.
It'll make me a millionaire. Bro, you have to understand that this will make your wildest dreams come true. You're about to embark on a journey that will change your life. Uh-huh. It'll change my life. Mm. Bro, you have to understand this. My nigga, what do you want, okay? Go ahead, spit it out, tell me. My bad, bro, I just get so excited thinking about how this will change people's lives. Okay, here we go, you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Are you absolutely sure that you're ready? I can't be having no half ready, bro. Yes, I'm ready. I mean 100% positive ready, or just 99. 3,000 motherfucking percent, damn, come on, tell me. I'ma walk away, or swim. I don't know what, if it's called walking or swimming. Okay, okay, my brother, this right here, this is game changing. This will change your life for the better. This right here is for your soul. This will mentally have you ready for anything. Here you go. All right. Wait, what's this circle thing? It's my mixtape. Once you hear that, I swear you'll be more happier than the audience giving Squidward a round of applause for his clarinet performance. Oh, hell no. I already know what this is. I would not listen to some random nigga mixtape. Most of y'all suck. Take this back. Wait, 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 wait. Listen, you about to miss out on a life-changing opportunity. Bruh, I wish the best for your ass, but there's no way I'm about to play your music. And why are you even selling CDs? You know you can get on SoundCloud, right? I am on SoundCloud, but having a physical CD is so much better. Trust me. Look, all you gotta do is pop these bad babies in your car, and it'll wake the whole hood up. Guaranteed. I'm not putting that in my car. It might give my car herpes. Oh, I see. You must have one of those whack cars. The ones with no bass in them. Ah, never mind. You might not need this next tape then. Whack car? Hell no, I got a 2021 Hellcat fish. My bass always booming, boy. Oh, well, sorry. I didn't know that that's how you roll. I didn't know that you were one of those lame fish. Lame? All the cool fish blast the CD in a car at full volume. I guess you're not cool enough. I am cool enough. I was, uh, I was, I was coming to get mine. I already knew about it. But you don't have the CD. How could you be cool enough when everyone has it? I just forgot to get the CD earlier before. Okay, brother, enjoy. I know you will. You're about to be an entirely different person after you listen to that. Uh, give me that shit. I know I will. All right, see you later. Uh, Dickies? Dices? Uh, Dices? Yeah, Dices. Of course I knew. Look at you. You knew my name and everything. I'm one of the cool ones. Ciao. Wait, 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 my handsome brother. You forgot something. Uh, what's that? I need a small donation of $5 to cover the distribution fees. What? Hell no, $5 for a circular piece of glass? You can have this shit, bro. Wait, but you already bought it. I just need the money for it. Oh, you're right, I did buy it. $5, you said? Here you- Wait, you trying to trick me. Hell no, take that funky ass CD. No, you have to give a donation. <laughs> Nigga got me fucked up. I don't even know if my car got a CD player in it. <laughs> bro, please. You have to listen! Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Let's go, yeah, I'm out of here, I'm on your ass. Listen to my mixtape, bro. It's straight gas! You won't ever need to fill your car up again. Move out of my way. No, I will not be moved. I bet. Ah! Ugh. Well, that'll be the third person I hit this week. <laughs> yeah, bitch, I told you to get out of the way. <laughs> Ooh, these trash rappers just getting more and more aggressive. Worse is when they want to be right next to your ass and get approval when it suck. And you can't just not nod your head. Because that be feeling rude, you know? I'm glad I shook his ass, though. Bro! You have to listen to my mixtape! Winter is coming! You need it so you can stay warm! What the? Oh! Wait, wait. That was, a, that was actually a good one. But get your ass out of my car, bro. You have to listen! I will not! Fine, but if you won't listen to my mixtape, I'll make sure you'll never hear anything again! What does that mean? Hey, what you doing? Hey, hey, hey! Ha ha ha! Ah! My... My spleen. Whoa! Ha ha! See? I told you you'll never be able to hear again if you don't listen to this mixtape. My nigga, you are stupid. I don't have ears anyway. You can't ruin my hearing. We use echolocation. We hear shit by the waves bouncing off stuff in the water and they come back to our brain. You just crashed my Hellcat fish for nothing, you weird, loud nigga. Now what I'ma do? I ain't got no whip no more. Oh. Oh damn, you right. It is a nice Hellcat. Well, sorry bro, but you know, I can make it up to you. Make it up to me? What you gonna do? You gonna buy me another one? Hell yeah, that'll work. Hell no, I'm broke as fuck. But here you go. All for free. This ain't making it up to me. I don't even have a CD player for this. How many times I gotta tell you? Well, I have a CD player right here, bro. It comes with headphones, and I'll sell it to you for $5. You know what? At this point, here, man. Take it. Awesome, bro. Here you go. Give it a listen. All right, all right, all right, man. 
But hey, 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 hey. Can you bag away from a nigga? Damn. I hate when y'all do that. My bad, bro. Just happened. I know it is. Uh, turn your ass the other way or something. Oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. Hey, hey, hey. This shit kind of slapping. Bro, that's what I was trying to tell you. Yeah, damn, bro. I'm sorry. Damn, this shit like really good. Like really, really, really good. Thank you. I just wish other people on YouTube can go and listen to it for the link in your bio. All right, now you're pushing it. Okay, my bad. Let's go get some drinks or something. Might as well. Yo, who made this beat, bro? That shit is crazy. I did, bro. I produce all my own stuff. Oh, shit. We got to get in the studio then. For sure. Just believe me, man, if you stay down I'ma pass one of these slices of cake round From the hood where a nigga get sprayed down I'm not talking about motherfucking paint now He possessed, bring a tech to the playground Then his next is a t-shirt with a face now I'm so high, I feel like I can hang glide Watch the motherfucking people you hang around I remember my life with just gray clouds Waking bake with the sun in my face, how Did he do that? Got people amazed now Mentally, my mind been in a maze now How the fuck do